Hello everyone, this is your host Tim Smith here to discuss the ins and outs of microblading mishaps and fixes. For those not in the know, microblading is a semi-permanent way to enhance your brows through tiny tattoo strokes that mimic natural hair. It's grown increasingly popular as a lower maintenance alternative to daily brow makeup. However, as with any cosmetic procedure, things don't always go according to plan. In this podcast, I'll outline some common microblading mistakes and how to address them. First up, picking the wrong color. Whether it's too warm, cool, or just plain off, brows that don't match your natural hair are a dead giveaway something's amiss. Shape and size flubs are also tough to overlook if your arches are oddly asymmetric or just seem too big for your face. Unevenly spaced strokes are another pain point, leading to patchy fading or splotchy discoloration. Speaking of fading, if your tint starts lightening way too quickly, that's a red flag. And no one wants blurry, unshaped brows that resemble a blob more than individual hairs. So what's a gal or guy to do if their brows botch the landing? Fortunately, most issues can be remedied. With minor touch-ups, a skilled brow artist can even out wonky areas or tweak the shape. Regular microblading also corrects more significant mismatches. In the meantime, home TLC is crucial. Religiously follow your aftercare instructions to avoid infections or messy healing. That means keeping things clean, dry, and creams free. Watch out too for unusual swelling, pain, or oozing. That likely means a doc visit. With some effort, nearly any brow boo-boo can be bounced back from. The keys are catching problems early, trusting trained professionals, and of course, dishing all deets to nervous novice friends. Thanks for tuning in to learn how even the wonkiest of brows can be salvaged. Tune in next time for more beauty blunders and fixes. This is Tim signing off.